Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? This is that Jack Danberg with another Every He-Man video. This one to my Every Master of the Universe Revelation Masterverse figure from Mattel. Hey you! Looking to reserve the hottest toys while saving money on shipping? Then check out the Big Bad Toy Store pile of loot! Hold items for up to 90 days when you activate your pile of loot. This hold is for in-stock items and for newly arrived pre-order items. During this 90 day window, we'll keep your items safe and secure until you're ready to ship. The pile of loot lets you consolidate the number of shipments needed to ship all items in your order. You have the freedom to ship any combination of items and orders. You can even control the size of your shipments. By lowering the number of shipments, you save money on shipping fees in the U.S. and international. Choose your shipping address, your shipping and payment method. And then we finally got the listings. And again, $24.99 is what these things are going to be for the basic figures. We'll be coming to Walmart with the basic stuff, Target with the Skele God and the Battle Cat. So here is a nice turntable shot of the package for the Battle Cat. And there you see you can take the armor off and he becomes cringer for you as well, so that's pretty cool. This is a pretty large cat, and this is a 7 inch scale, and he's about the same size as the Motu Classics Battle Cat. So there he is in the package front, deluxe here, Netflix show. Here he is in action. And then we have your Evil Inn. Again, one helmet, head sculpt, one with the white hair. She got her staff that you can have in two different forms, the long staff and the short staff, the purse there that will go around her waist as well. A couple of different hands. She is in package. And there's some nice different angles of her. And from the back. So there's she and Battle Cat. Next you have your Moss Man and he does have that extended arm piece like his, his plant growth powers are working. Got those strange looking feet there as if he's a tree with roots. And different hand sculpts that comes with him as well. There he is in package. And there he is from the back as well so you can see that. You have your He-Man figure, comes with the battle sword, the shield, different hands. There he is in package. There he is from the back. And a couple different angles of the figure. And you have your Skeletor with his staff and that other new weapon there. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's some kind of a transformation weapon from the trailer that I saw. He does have different hands. There he is in package. And a couple of different angles. You see the soft goods cape that he comes with. So there are those three He Man, Moss Man, and Skeletor. And all four of the basic figures from Wave 1. Again, basics. And there they are on the stand, so that's a really nice display they got for them. And then we have our deluxe figure, Skelegod. A little turntable action here showing the package off. So there he is with the sword and the power effect on his arm. Got the extra hand sculpts. Again, he does have a soft goods cape as well. There he is in package. Close up of that head, that neck, that translucent neck that's pretty cool. And there he is from the back. Alright, and from Mattel Creations, we do have an exclusive here of Scareglow. 
$35 for this exclusive figure in the summer. Uh, Mattel Showcase, I guess you want to call it. Nice packaging here. Multiple hand sculpts as well. An axe, a sword. Sword can actually break apart, so you can have two different swords. Got the soft goods cape. Beautiful packaging there for Revelation Scare Glow. Glow in the dark features, of course. The head and a little bit of the chest. As you can lift up the cape there and show the back of the back. Here's the window so you can see the figure through the hole there when you take it out of the package. It does have the mailer box that comes with it too. You can see from the back there, you can see the cape. And from the front there, you can see the figure. So it does have that flap that'll shut for you. Nice images here from Toy Arc. This isn't in scale here, there's just two separate numbers. Just couldn't get them the same size on the screen because of the staff there. But here's your nice comparison of Scareglow to Scarecrow in this line. And to Scale of God. And so here's another deluxe figure, Faker. Got three different head sculpts. You can switch off the armor, got the shield, the sword, the hands. You see that face there looks like He-Man, but you got the metal face as well. The arm looks like it's the flesh is ripping off, and so the chest. Got his sword. Next we have our Wave 2, and Sarah Michelle Gellar was able to show off the Tila figure first off. Because she is the voice of Tila. And then showed off that we were also getting Beast Man and Spike Or in this wave. There's your full wave uh, with Man at Arms as well. I forgot to mention him just now. But your Beast Man, Tila, Man at Arms, and Spike Or. So here's your Tila in package with all her accessories, different hand sculpts, got the staff, the sword, and then here we go with Spike Or. Got his package, his spike weapons. Different hands. There you go. You can see it just kind of slides over his other hand, I guess. And then he can hold the other. There he is from the back. You can see the spikes on the back of his costume there. Here we are with Man at Arms. Got his big club, several different hands. There he is from the back as well. Got the shin guard and the shoulder guard and forearm. Here we come with Beast Man. Got the scars on him just like the show and the face paint as well. Got the whip, multiple hands. It looks like plastic there for his uh, loincloth. It's really cool. His uh, whip can actually kind of roll up there and store on his sides. So that's really nice. There he is with his whip in action. And then more Motu coming in 2022 with Revelation He-Man, New Eternia He-Man, Princess of Power She-Ra, and He-Man and the Masters of the Universe He-Man. So the other Netflix show. Alright, so after the convention we got some better images of Andra and Scareglow here. So those look really good. We'll see what those come as. If it's uh, individual figures or a two-pack, we'll see. So here you see Andra in package with all her accessories. She does have the two different head sculpts, one with the mask on, one with the off, showing all her hair and the soft goods cape. Got the little blast effect and multiple hands. There's that cape from the back. You see that blast effect on her arm. Goes into her uh, wrist shooter there it looks like. Here's your close-up of both head sculpts with the cape around it, and then a nice shot of the figure with the helmet on with the cape around it as well. 
So here's our regular release scare glow, not the exclusive. So this one does not glow as much as the other one. It does have the same axe and extra hand sculpts there, open, fisted, and flat there, soft goods cape. And you can see his head is a little bit translucent and just a little bit of glow in the head, and that's about it. Nothing in the chest. We also have some more shots of Stinkor here. He's got two different head sculpts he's gonna come with. One with a face cover there to cover up his smell. Separate hands and his shield. You can also see his backpack there with the tanks. And there he is with his face mask on. Next we have official shots of Fisto. You can see his giant fist. He's got his sword, extra hands for him as well. That battle armor on, the red hair and the beard. So here those two are in package, Fisto and Stinkor. Two of my favorites, the reason I actually jumped into this line myself. So here you have your deluxe triclops here. So you can either have the regular triclops or you can have the cult leader costume on him. So that's pretty awesome. You can see where the armor comes off, the head sculpt changes out in the hands. And there's his battle sword as well. So here is a shot of the tease for November 23rd's Netflix Masters of the Universe Revelation Season 2. And you'll see Skella God there, Teela up in the top, Evil Lynn, and then right in the front there. You'll see what we thought was Olar, but what it really is, is Savage He-Man. Now whether Olar and Savage He-Man are the same person, I don't know. But this is another deluxe two-pack here. I should say the first two-pack. Uh, with Orko and they're not really calling it a two-pack. I guess Orko is kind of like a uh, add-in Or an accessory so it, this is the deluxe Savage He-Man pack with Orko So you see he's got the spear the sword the axe extra hands And an Orko on his flight stand So it's really nice to get Orko in this series too because he was very uh, much a part of this show so considering uh, all the crazy stuff we're getting with the time jumping and going into the dead zone like they did in season one and getting all these other versions of He-Man over the centuries, uh, this is kind of a cool one too, I guess. Got a nice close-up shot of Orko there. Nice close-up of Savage He-Man. There they are thinking, which which weapon should we take? Savage He-Man saying goodbye to his friends. Orgo going against Scareglow down in the Nether Realm. And Orgo winning. Savage He-Man going against Skelegod. So that's pretty cool looking. So here we go with our deluxe Masterverse Revelation King Gray Skull here. Again with the soft goods cape. Got the long hair, the woolly arms there, the double swords, extra hands, extra head sculpt, and a shield. There he is from the back. Holding one of his swords aloft there. Again, all those accessories on the bottom there with both sets of swords, both head sculpts. And the fur on his shoulders. 
There's both head sculpts, so you can actually see them on him in both versions. And there's the back of the package and the side of the package. And him wielding both swords. There's another deluxe figure of Trapjaw here. Him with and without his garbone. So this is him. Got his belt, his gun, his hook, his claw. Extra hand sculpt there, gripping. And then also his get up so that he can actually be one of Triclops's goons. There you see him up close here with the jaw up. On the right with the jaw down and the claw. Right there in the middle with his Colt gear on. So you can take that on and off if you don't want that version. And you want the classic version, which is what I'm going to want. And there he is from the back as well. So here we go with our next wave with a Tila Merman and a couple of different versions of He-Man and Skeletor. So here's our Tila. This is the more classic look. So this will be definitely the one I'm going to throw into my collection with the shield, the sword, the extra hands. And also you see the short hair scope with the tiara and then the long hair scope with the tiara off. So of course I'm going to want the tiara to have that classic look for my Tila. Here she's wielding her sword and her shield. Here's the merman from Revelation. I wouldn't have minded getting an extra head sculpt and some actual armor for him so I can have my regular version of merman because this is just not going to fit my style that I'm looking for. But you see he does have a sword and a spear and extra sets of hands right there. But he's got those scars all over his chest and his eye there showing he's been beat up and worn out after Skeletor has disappeared for a while. Here's from the back. Again, wielding both weapons. Nice up close of all those scars. And both of them up close. Then we have our new Eternia Viking He-Man and Barbarian Skeletor. Both in package. Both in package and showing all their accessories. So there they are with those extra head sculpts there on them. And you do notice they have regular head sculpts as well. So here is your Viking He-Man with his axe and his sword and his helmet on. Got the shoulder pads as well, knife on his boot. A little zoom in there. And here's another shot of him with his helmet off. And again, I'm just not impressed with these head sculpts for these He-Man figures. Which is kind of depressing. I really want a good He-Man head sculpt from this line. There's another shot of that head sculpt from a different angles. Still just doesn't look good for me. Uh, there is the Barbarian Skeletor. I do like the armor on that one. And in a second here we'll see it with the Skeletor head. So there you can see him with his sword and his staff. But look at that Skeletor head on that. Now that looks good. So that'll be one that's joining my collection. Right there he's got this soft goods cape as well. And then both the figures from the back showing the swords being held. But first let's go to Zodak. This is a Master of the Universe New Eternia figure. 40th anniversary logo on the front of the package there. All these accessories he comes with. So you can have the original look. That classic look. And you can put that armor on and give him that New Eternia look as well. There you see on the back he can store his weapons. So a really cool looking figure, two different formats you can put him in. Had a little tease here of some new Masterverse villains that we got with Jitsu, Hordak, the new Netflix version of Skeletor, interesting, a Beast Man, which we talked about earlier, and a Catra from the She-Ra Horde. So here is Beast Man in package front and back. Again, it's a new Eternia, so it has multiple costumes here for him to wear. You can see on the back of the package, not only Skeletor, but you got He-Man. We talked about Zodak, and we talked about Catcher already. Here you see him without his armor on. And you see him all armored up. So two different versions you can see here. You can put him in this regular costume here, kind of looking back like the 80s version that we knew. Got the whip. This guy's massive, 9 inches tall. Got the fur on him. And without it. From the back, you can store his whip there with that old armor, but not the new one. 
and then the size of the package with artwork. Now the interesting thing is there was a running variant, one with a lighter orange and one with a more dirty looking orange for the torso. But there's the three different versions you can have for him. One with the helmet on, one with the helmet off, with the fur, and then the classic version. Here's our Catra from Princess of Power, 40th anniversary on the label there. You see her with her mask down, her shield, and her staff there. Cape off, cape on. Mask up. See the back of her hair there. It is plastic hair rather than real hair like the originals was. And here is that Skeletor figure from the new Netflix show. So this is a massive figure right here. Front and back of him. Got a deluxe Hordak from Princess of Power. Not sure why you'd necessarily consider this one deluxe. I can think you could have fit that in one package, but oh well. Has the cape and without the cape. The blast effect out of his cannon arm there. The bat shield thing, the uh, bow and arrow bat looking thing. And there's the back of his package. You see Leech there in the background, so maybe that's a tease for something in the future. And then here is your Jitsu from New Eternia. Again, with when you're dealing with New Eternia, you're dealing with different looks that you can go with. Front and back of that package. There is his regular look with his bun, kind of mohawk looking thing with his beard, and then his masked version with the extra belt on his waist. Some more promo art there for him. And then we had some heroes from Masterverse that they showed off for us with Battle Armor He Man, Hero, the Netflix version of He Man, Sun Man, and She Ra. So here's that He Man to go along with the Skeletor. Again, 40th anniversary on the package. This is the Netflix version. Really bulky. In the back with that massive sword. Here's the Prince of Power She-Ra in package. Again, she is deluxe. Interesting, just like the Hordak. Why would this be deluxe? I don't know. All the accessories she comes with. Different masks and head sculpts she comes with. Different capes she comes with. The shield, the sword, and extra hands. In the back of her package showing swift wind and then like i said we had hero and sun man so let's look at those two so here is hero back of the package you can see his big old staff he comes with there's the back of the package showing the figures in the same wave front of the package there again 40th anniversary this is from master of the universe revelation he has his soft goods cape. You see that piece, the crystal showing in the top of the staff. And then some nice artwork. You see Eternia in the background, that's awesome. Here's your Sun Man, front and back. This is from the Rulers of the Sun line. There's his translucent wings from the back there. Would have been nice to have a flame effect to go with that staff there he's got. Shield. Extra set of hands. And some nice artwork. And then we have our Battle Armor Heat Man. Got his shield, his sword, he's got a knife in his boot there. This is New Eternia, so he does have several looks. Would have loved to have seen two different heads. Uh, the chest plate there does not actually spin, but it does give you the ability to switch it out. Uh, but he has a shoulder pad you can take on and off to make him kind of look like the original in this one. But he does, like I said, have that beard and the long hair. I would have loved to have seen just a regular look he man there. But this looks pretty good. Sword, axe, shield, and that arm plate. And nice artwork. And then introducing the anniversary edition of He-Man, 40th anniversary. And this is the version we are getting in the middle there without all those shadows. So I don't have a really good shot of it in package yet, but you can tell the difference between the original that they showed us with all the shadow pieces in his uh, 
uh, skin there versus the one we're getting is not going to have as many of those dark shadows. There's the back of the package. All the accessories. Axe, sword, shield, and extra hands. So you see right there that shadows. That's, that's not going to be what we get. So yeah. Only got that one shot of him without the shadows. Right there. So there's your original on the left and the updated version without the shadows on the right. And then there is a two pack here with Team Man Skeletor for the 40th anniversary. It's a die cast set from SDCC 2022, Mattel Creations. Got their accessories that come with them. With his Havoc Staff, his sword, Skeletor with that wide open mouth. He Man with his weapons there as well. Got that classic look to him. So here's some shots of them in action. Got the two mini comics, a ring that comes with it. The He Mans over the generations, the Skeletors over the generations. And then we have Too Bad. So this is pretty awesome. So yeah, I kind of pieced together a little shot of him with his armor on here, full body. So that's kind of what he would look like. And Pixel Dan pointed out that this is actually very backwards compared to our original Too Bads. Usually the blue version is actually higher than the purple version of Too Bad. So this time they got it the opposite where the purple guys are here. There's a pretty good shot of some of the designs that they had whenever they were trying to make the two bad. I love whenever they share this kind of stuff. And here's the artwork for the two bad box. And the box from the front and the back. And then too bad for my other angles here, with and without his armor on. Also, we're having the movie versions for He-Man and Skeletor. These are both shown off on Mo Tuesdays. Nice close up of those faces. It does not look like Dolph to me, but Skeletor didn't look too bad. And then the package art. Here's that Skeletor, you see the soft goods cape from the back there. Got his sword and his Havoc staff. Pretty good likeness to the movie. All the accessories it comes with. Comes with the Cosmic Key as well. Extra hands. Here it is in package. We got your He-Man here. This does not look anything like Dolph. The soft goods robe again or cape again. Got the sword, the knife. There it is in package. All the accessories. It does come with two heads. Right there from all angles. Both Skeletor and He Man. Back of the package shows the art does connect. We have Roboto in package here. All the accessories he comes with. Would have loved to see more accessories, but you got the blaster that'll go on the right arm only. Got the two swords. I would have loved for the mechanism inside to work like the original did. There you see the blaster on the right hand, holding both swords. And then there is the gun. There's the figure from the back as well. In package, all angles. Love that artwork. We got many faces here. He's got a little backpack there showing all of his different faces and we definitely have different faces than we used to have. So we have still the regular, the robot and the monster, but we also have an actor, a, a skull and 
not sure what that other one is, but three new face sculpts here from Any Faces. Got his big gun and extra hands. There it is in package. You see where you can store all those faces in that case. Robot, regular face, all three. Then we got our Stratos figure. And package all angles. Does have a breathing apparatus. And he's got some kind of little staff there with a green emerald or whatever in there. Got the wings on the side. Got the jetpack on the back. All those accessories here he comes with. I would have loved for that jetpack to have some kind of propulsion coming out of it too. That would have been really cool. So there's Frost in her package. From the back of the figure. All the artwork. So a pretty cool feature I didn't know about. If you put her in cold water, it changes the color from warm water, changes it back for her hair. That's pretty awesome. Got that wand effect that she has there. Again, soft goods on her cape there. And all the accessories, extra hand and ice piece. There's Evil Ann in package, all angles. Her artwork. Figure from both sides, front and back. Got the soft goods, like bat wings. That bat sculpt on their head is awesome accessories and then we got shadow weaver got the flight stand there she's on extra hands an effect piece and her wand and package again she has soft goods cape as well her package from all angles sorceress here got her staff again soft goods for her for her wings in package there's all her accessories got pig head his accessories got like a snake thing and a club extra hands and a shield this is from rulers of the sun sun man all angles here We have a new adventure Skeletor, thanks to Pixel Dan showing this off to us. You see the helmet comes off, cape comes off. We have a Deluxe Revelations Man at Arms. Soft goods on him. All kinds of accessories with Man at Arms, which makes a lot of sense. Two different heads. And you can take his armor off. That is pretty awesome. And then we have Mattel Creations exclusive by Virgil Abloh, Monochrome Hughes. They come with a comic book art print as well, illustrated by Reggie No. So there was the He-Man. The Skeletor. The Battle Cat. And the God Skeletor. So we got your Eternia Mattel Creations Origins, and I was always wondering would the scale fit for the Origins? According to this, it looks like it might have, but then when you look at it beside it, he's standing too much taller than the door. So I don't think it fits, but for those of you who ordered it, good luck with that. We have the New Adventures He-Man. There's all his accessories. Now I'm going to own and off the shield, the sword. 
We have a Mattel Creations Revelations Eva Lynn. As she gets the power of Grey Skull, she becomes Dark Lynn. From back of that package, all the accessories she comes with, the soft goods cape. So there's a really cool Mattel Creations figure right here. Got the H on her chest for He-Man or whatever. So on 320 2023 Mattel released this beautiful poster here checklist of the upcoming 2023 Motu figures for both Origins and Masterverse. So let's zoom in on Masterverse and see what all we have coming. And then we'll go into detail with all of the promotional images of each one of them as well. But this is an awesome looking checklist poster for the future of Masterverse. So here's the official images of that. Front and back there, the helmet can come off. And so can the cape. We also from New Adventures have Slush Head as a deluxe. Check out this, you can take the head off and actually put it on like tentacles. So that's awesome. Tentacles can go on the back as well, got his weapon. And that slush on his back. There's all those accessories, so that is a big time deluxe. We also have a Revelation Horde Skeletor. So he's got the cape on, but then you notice when the cape comes off, you see the Horde symbol up there at the top. And that Havoc staff looks completely different as well. So there's that accessory right there. And you see the Horde on the belt as well. Got us a Revelation Prince Adam. Come with two different swords. One's regular, one is sparkly. But he definitely has that skinny look. But as if you check this out, he also has a laughing head. So he is laughing here. So here's a new Merman classic version here. No scars on this one. He has his armor, his sword, extra hands. But there you see him with his sword, the armor on. Back of the figure as well. Next we have Clamp Champ. Got this big old clamp there. Figure from the front and the back those accessories. We also have Grizzle Oil with some fur on him. Now the fur does come off. He's got the holster on the back for his axe. Got his bow there as well. Really cool looking figure for Princes of Power. So you can see that armor can come right off there and I'm liking this one. Next we have a new Eternia Buzz Off with all kinds of different options you can have for him. Got the wings there in the back, an extra helmet on the head. And the axe there. Next we have Faker, and check Faker out here. Instead of having orange armor, he's got pink armor here. Got his pink sword. Got the holster on the back, he's got an axe that's like changing as well. Got the recording thing actually chiseled into his chest instead of, t instead of just uh, a sticker. That's pretty cool. And check out that head sculpt. Next, we have a new Eternia Webster. So he's got his gun, his, his extra tentacles on his back, and his um, his hook there that can hook onto his gun as well. So that's an awesome looking web store. There it is on the back. Next, we have a deluxe Ram Man. This guy looks amazing. I'm assuming those knees there, like they do bend because you can tell what that back leg is bending, but you don't see any joints there, so that's pretty cool. So there he is, extra uh, head sculpts there. Not sure what the weird one is with the glasses, but that's kind of cool. Uh, he's got his axis, or his axe, his, his extra armor there. So there you go, you can see the axe can be held on the back too with that extra armor. We have a deluxe clawful, and this guy looks amazing too. All kinds of different looks he can do for him. Got the orange armor there, the big spikes on his back, massive claw. So really excited about this clawful figure. And 
And then lastly, we have a new Eternia. I don't know, who is this guy? Guys, this is Whiplash. He's got some crazy armor, crazy accessories here, the flames. But you can tell by that spear, that's definitely Whiplash. And then he's got his other version here that's got more of a classic look to it. So yeah, I could take this Whiplash. So there's all the accessories that this Deluxe Whiplash comes with. And that's it, guys. That is all of the Masterverse figures that we are going to be getting here soon. And I'm very excited for these. So yeah, here's the original video that I had done with the characters. Here's the update for this video. So many figures added since the last time I did a video. All the individual regular release figures in package. Plus the creations and the 40th anniversary He-Man. All the deluxe releases in package. And then here are some of the little Eternia minis. So we'll talk about those as well. Skeletor or Skelegod, Beastman, Fisto, and Whiplash. So here's your Skelegod on card. So at least they weren't mystery minis. You see his cape, he's got his staff. Here you have Fisto with his sword, and the sword can go in either hand. You see that there? And then you have Beastman with his whip. There's different angles for him. He got his beard all braided up. And here's an interesting for me. Uh, you got your whiplash here. And again, he was like a very minimal part of the show. Got his tail on the back, his spear. His spear can go in either hand. Got that weird eye going on there. There's his package. And then you have a metallic version of Whiplash, which I don't see metal on this at all. It just looks green to me. So I'm not sure what this variant is all about. There's his package. So that's all five figures in that first wave. But then I also found this one with your faker and your metallic faker so these are the only two shots I could find of these online so I don't know if they were released or not let me know in the comments if you know anything about these two so here is our mercenary Tila the mask and the cloak on there here is our sorceress figure And there's the back of the card showing both of those two new additions to these Eternia minis. All right, then you have your kind of two pack or riders packs. So Fisto with Stridor. So another release of, of, of Fisto. That's interesting. Not sure why they didn't just put him out in the first place with Stridor instead of individually packed. But Stridor is pretty cool looking. Two inches tall. And then you have Beast Man with a war sled, so the same thing. I'm not sure why they wanted to release two. Now his beard is different than the original release. The beard on the original release was the same color as his other fur. It's pretty cool that we're getting that war sled here with the gun out the front. There, just in the back, you can see the repulse, uh, the rocket on the back, and some wheels on the bottom, so it'll roll. And then also from Revelation, we have a Battle Labbit from Mega Collabs. Summer exclusive from Mattel. Some kind of a battle cat with a sword sticking out of his nose. Got the shield on the side. There's the bottom of him. See the signature there on the bottom. 
and the sword can actually fit over on the side of his body too instead of coming out of his nose. So I don't know. You guys let me know what in the world this thing is. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up and I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.